Classical Kids Storytime is supported by the Minnesota College Savings Plan, the official 529 program for the state of Minnesota. Learn how you can invest for your child's college education and minimize your taxes at mnsaves.org. Welcome to Classical Kids Storytime. I'm Eric with A Farmer's Tale. Today, we bring you back to ancient China during the Tang Dynasty. That was over 1,000 years ago. People say the Tang Dynasty was China's golden age of culture. This was a time when musicians and artists thrived. Poets and thinkers were made famous. And farmers? Well, they toiled in the fields like they always have. Somebody had to feed all those musicians and poets. So, every morning at daybreak, Farmer climbed out of bed, grabbed a Starbucks coffee, order for farmer, farmer, and jumped into the tractor. Wait, this was a thousand years ago. Let's try it again. Every morning at daybreak, the farmer climbed out of bed, ate some leftover bread, then on the ground they kneeled, pulling weeds from their field. As the sun rose overhead, sweat dripped into the soil bed. Every swing of the hoe Another seed to sow. Does your dinner grow on trees? Sort of. But it's the farmer who pulls the weeds. A poet from the Tang Dynasty, Li Shen, wrote about the hardworking farmer. This poem has become basically a nursery rhyme that is still told today to virtually all Chinese kids. Here's the poem. (laughs) Chu he ri dang wu, han di he xia tu, shei zhi pan zhong zan, li li jie xin ku. It's high noon, and the farmer is pulling weeds. The sweat drips into the ground, into the soil. Who knows where the meal comes from? Every grain of rice comes from somebody's hard work. Thanks for listening to Classical Kids Storytime from APM American Public Media.